how to fix a loose hood hinge hit that subscribe button leave us a like okay let's get into this we are repairing a hood hinge from our 1968 Dodge Charger restoration project okay turning this over from the back side you can see one of the rivets is a lot lower than the other that means it's pulling through the assembly okay we'll see if we can shine a light down in there it's a little difficult to see but you can see that rivet and the assembly separating from one another yeah bad situation that'd be catastrophic failure on a car or <laughs> even worse if it blew up in my hand so let's get this thing repaired now this is the method I use to remove a hood spring this is just a chain coupler and a length of chain get a little leverage against the uh, vice post and I can pull that thing off easily remove it okay we shorted up uh, the back side of the rivet with some washers and we've gotten as close as possible with c-clamp and push that thing through and from side view you can see the rivets actually push back into place now before it was really sunk in there now a lot of people like to try and hammer the rivet back into place or take up the slack of the rivet i've never had good luck with that never seems to work out for me the best method, best, best method for me is to uh, go ahead and just weld that thing up. And you can use a MIG welder also. So we just went around that rivet with a TIG and a little uh, wire. There it is okay let's get this uh, spring reinstalled but first we want to double check we have full travel and you can see it's uh, much tighter than it was And the installation of the spring is just reverse of uh, what we had done to remove it. And there it is, back in place. No screwdrivers or pry bars. Yeah, I don't use that type of stuff to install springs. And you can see it's really nice and tight. The assembly is uh, cinched back together. That's a good repair. Hey, this one's ready to go. Hey, check out our all our other videos on YouTube. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.